Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. This week I am going to be grabbing all of my leftover stickers because I have got so many sheets piling up on my desk that it was about time that I just sorted through them and made a spread out of some of them. So here I'm just sorting through all of the leftover stickers and kind of grouping together colours or patterns that I thought would work well together because I wanted it to look like a cohesive spread and not just random stickers and colours everywhere. I am going to be using this washi and I was also supposed to be writing down the stickers that I use and where the shop was and I completely forgot so if I remember what where any of these stickers are then I'll let you know but I am just using the washi I did split it in half like I used to a long time ago I feel like I haven't done this for a while and I use half of it down at the bottom and the other half at the top I have already whited out the black lines so that won't shine through and I also white out all of the dates in a little while because as I was putting stickers down I realized that they were going to all be showing through so uh, last week I apologised that I didn't manage to upload my video, it was just a really tough week, like personal life wise, and then I originally was going to be doing a rewind spread even though I'd already planned it, I was just going to do my voiceover in a rewind way. But in all honesty, I did not want to live through that week again and hardly anything that I'd planned that week happened anyway. So we skipped last week. I'm sorry, I apologise, but I've just put the date covers along the top and I also had these date dots left which was from the Plump Planner and they fit perfectly in these little circles so that was a bonus. And then once I had finished doing that I'm just going to go in day by day. So as I don't have a full kit that I'm working with I'm going to be mixing up how I usually fill my planner in and I'm also going back to my old school all favourite time pen. I used to use this literally every plan with me for about a year. I'll leave it linked down below because I really do enjoy these pens and it was just because I couldn't find my rapid ink or rapid dry ink pen because all of my children have stolen my pens. Also I apologise if it is a little bit noisy because obviously I've got the children home, it's summer holidays and I think I've got one upstairs recording a video because he does like um, Twitch streams sometimes and he's I don't know he's filming a video at the moment so I've got him upstairs and I've got the window open because it has been 32 degrees today it's so hot I've had to turn my fan off so I can do this voiceover but I have opened the window a little bit because I am melting so you may hear some cars drive past as well so I'm really sorry if it's a little bit noisy but getting back to the actual plan with me I had the day off work so I marked that with a page flag and I had a carpenter coming around to fix the door so I just chopped the little laptop pop it up I've done it previously I've done it quite a few times now so he's just got the little hammer because it's like a perfect little pop it to mark down for any DIY or any kind of home renovations I really must make some pop it's that have actually to do with DIY I did say that last time and I still haven't done it but I will I've put it on my list Um, I've also managed to wash some of the sleeping bags because we have got our camping trip coming up so I just use one of my poppet laundry washing lines and write down sleeping bags and of course once the carpenter had finished doing all of the doors I then had a lot of housework a lot of sawdust and just dust in general that I had to tidy up so I just used a poppet from the home life sheet and then down at the bottom where I've written film plan with me the large camera sticker was from a big deco sheet that I bought from stickers for keepers and it kind of worked perfectly just to fill up that space as I was going to be filming the plan with me and then for Tuesday my daughter has her exam results being posted through so I use the little couples one with the shocked face and one with like the little kissy face just to mark that down and also the important header was from a simply gilded kit that I had left over I then also had to call the doctors so I used one of the poppet doctors to mark that down and I also brought a bed which I needed to go and pick up and I decided to write that on a half box because I might pick that up on Wednesday so then I can easily peel that up and stick it down on the Wednesday and then we've also got a hospital appointment as well on Tuesday so I used another one of the little doctor poppets and as we'll be in the city no doubt we will go to McDonald's <laughs> and then moving on to uh, Wednesday I wanted to start the morning off with a coffee because like I said it's been really hot and it's been really tricky to get to sleep at night. I'm also doing everyone's orders and posting them off on Wednesday as well and then lastly I have got a big fam camp meeting at four o'clock because like I say we are going camping in a few weeks with the whole family so we just kind of have a big camp meeting so everybody's on the same page. 
And then moving over to Thursday, I'm going to be filming my August bullet journal setup. Somebody was asking me on Instagram if I'm going to be filming any more bullet journal videos. And honestly, I hadn't filmed any more because I wasn't sure if anybody was interested in watching them. But I'm more than happy to film them. So I'm excited to film August setup and have that ready to go up probably when I'm away camping because we're away at the beginning of August. So that way you'll still have a video go up next not next week, the week after, even though I'm not here. And I quickly picked up my brush pen and just went over some of the words just to make them pop out a little bit more on my planner because I thought that that looked nice. And I also put down all of the headers down. They're like sequin headers. So I just put all of those down so they were just down ready. And then, like I say, I bought a bed on Tuesday. No, I'm going to pick up a bed on Tuesday or Wednesday. So on Thursday, I want to move the boys' rooms around and kind of get the new bed in there and have that all set up. And as it's been lovely weather, we're going to be having a barbecue on Thursday. So I just use one of my barbecue poppets to mark that down. And then at the bottom here, I'm just putting down a quarter box. And then one of the, the sticker above it is from the Stickers for Keepers deco sheet, as I need to have a really good sort through all of my camping boxes so that way I know what I need to buy what I need to replace you know the drill moving on to Friday I forgot to hit record again so you just missed me putting that sticker down but that was just to mark down that I have got to work on Friday and then for my new release I decided to put one of the little happy poppets down so last week's new release were these reading poppets obviously you guys didn't get to see them because I didn't upload my video and then this week's new release are these TV poppets they're like a TV and it's stuffed full of poppets they are so cute and adorable so I decided to use a grey one as I have been watching Netflix in bed near enough every night and we have been watching Jane the Virgin so I thought that was a perfect way to show you the new release and mark down something that I'm actually doing in my planner. I also wanted to show you the little reading poppets so I put that down to mark for me to write a camping list even though he's reading but you know it looks like he could be writing a list. And then moving on to the weekend I placed a weekend banner down. It's so noisy in this house I have to keep stopping. I had an ice cream van come around, my daughter's been walking in and out, someone's cooking in the kitchen, the other one's recording upstairs, my daughter's walking back <laughs> through a door looking at me weird. You'd think that I can do a voiceover in a 10 minute video in one go, but oh no, 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 no. This is like my 17th pausing and stopping and then recording. Anyway, uh, for the weekend, it's obviously barbecue weekend because it's been a lovely sunshine. So I've put that down at the top under my weekend banner. I need to do a food shop on this Saturday and then on the Sunday I will be recording next week's plan with me. And that's pretty much all I've got planned for the weekend. There's nothing too crazy. And then for the sidebar, I didn't have any full boxes. So I decided just to keep the calendar at the top as it is. I did have one habit tracker. So I decided to use that as it matched the boxes that were already on that half of the planner and also the half box which I made into another habit tracker for my Instagram. The um, next week section that I've put there is just a header from Simply Gilded's kit and then my pop it little checklist which I've just listed a few things down and then I finished it off with some more of the deco stickers. But that was it for this week's spread. I know it looks a little bit different to what I usually do but I hope you guys have enjoyed it. I'm really sorry about last week and how noisy this plan with me has been but if you did like it then please give me a thumbs up as it really helps me and my channel out. Also don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already and as always I hope you guys are having an amazing week so far and I will see you next time. Bye guys!